we might just get right into the looks here i'm doing a hollister try on haul because i just feel like i just want to talk about hollister so back in the day when i was in like the sixth grade it was all about hollister 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 it was all hollister it was all Earl Pastel. it was all true religion if you don't know what any of that is you are too young if you were around during the um during the stage of hollister Earl Pastel, true religion uh ugg boots and ipod touches then you're too young like seriously so back in the day i think aeropostale that was popular first excuse the noise my little brother is mad loud okay it was aeropostale first and i remember getting all my aeropostale and i'm just ready to go to school ready to show up my aeropostale and then next thing you know here comes hollister coming out the woolworth so it's like nobody's wearing aeropostale no more everybody's wearing hollister and you gotta you know so eventually it took me a while but i finally got my outfits together from hollister it was these blue these dark blue um like straight leg jeans not skinny jeans straight leg jeans and i thought that was the coolest thing ever and i also got me a like a um a dark blue cardigan that had the little Hollister red seagull right here. And I think at this point I was in like eighth grade and I got me some Ugg slippers. And child, when I tell you, you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me nothing. And I rocked them Hollister jeans. Even once Hollister started to like sizzle down some, I still was like, like you could still get away with it. And the jeans were just so good that it, look, I didn't care. It's like, these jeans are so good. Like who finna check me? Cause I don't care. So that's kind of how I feel today. No, that's not how I feel today. I know that this is a little bit out of the box. This is a little out of my comfort zone. I'm a Zara girl. I'm a Zara girl. I'm just a very much online shopping type of girl. And these days when I walk past Hollister, I turn my nose up like it is just peasantry. I'm not gonna lie, I do. I do. I am so bougie these days, especially Aeropasto. But there's always a but. Even if Hollister is not necessarily as popping as it once was, okay, I do remember a time where Hollister had the best jeans. When it comes to quality, when it comes to everything you cannot knock them regardless like i have to remind myself of that same thing with Aero Pastel. and i don't know what possessed me i think i was inspired you know what it was the weather was so bad all the stores was closed there was only a so few select stores that was open and hollister was one of them by chance we decided to walk up in hollister and see what they had it was actually a pair of sweatpants that really brought me in. We're giving very much early 2000s, like very much early 2000s. And I already have a sweatsuit set that is very much early 2000s from G School, but I'm still looking for more because the ones that I have are low rise, and you can see how that might be a problem for me. It's not necessarily a problem, but I do also want some like high fit ones because that's how I like to wear my pants, like more so how I have them on now. So those looks like that. So by chance, 
we went into Target. I mean, why do I keep saying Target? We went into Hollister, and I'd be damned if I didn't want to buy up the whole store. Like, so, I'm like, I, I need to make a video about this. Like, is Hollister, like, that girl on the low? Like, are we sleeping on Hollister? Like, does Hollister have a place in 2022? Does it have a place in 2022 fashion? Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Matter of fact, you don't have to hear me out. Just look at the pieces that I, that I picked out. Because I think I was able to pick out a pretty good representation of Hollister in 2022. And I really want to talk about it. And I really want to dissect it. And that's what we're going to do today. And at the end, I want you guys to tell me which outfit would you try? Which outfit did you like the best? Because I bought full outfits. So, let's go. my head to my toes, it's a real outfit that I picked up. I got three outfits by this. This is the first outfit that I picked up. Um, and these are the pants that got me in the store, period. So, can we just, can we just, is it giving 70s? Like, so the pants are, first of all, I expect Hollister quality to be good. Because Hollister's prices are not cheap. Like, let's talk about that first of all. Hollister is very expensive. So, I expect the quality to be nice. I expect these pants to be soft. They are soft. They're very soft. And they're just cute. Like, especially if you've got, like, a little jacket. Like, you can wear this with, like, a jean jacket in the spring. The color is super cute. And they also came in a baby blue. I got these pants in a small. Um, I was going to get a medium, but they didn't have a medium. Thank God they didn't have a medium because honestly, I feel like the small fits me nice. Like it fits how I like things to fit. And I was more so just afraid that the, the um, they would be too short. Because I hate that when you get like flare pants and they be like high waters. Like, no. <clears throat> like, don't do me. But they fit perfectly. Like, and then I also got this little t-shirt to go with it. I love a graphic tee. I just got this because I didn't know what else to wear with these pants. So I just got something that I could throw on and yeah, like this is cute. I could put this on my Yeezys because my Yeezys have orange in them. And yeah, it's giving very much 70s, very much that 70s show, very much super cute. Like Hollister, is y'all coming for the girls next? Like, look at this. Super cute. So this is the second outfit. So this is the second outfit and honestly I love this outfit. Like I just love this. This is very much my style. I love a baggy sweat with a cute little baby tee. Like I just, this is my style. I love black. 
I just love just being super chill, super cute, and just sexy and sporty. So I love the outfit. I love this outfit. But yeah, these are like basic sweats. They actually say, see, you have to hear, they say um, Manhattan, New York on them. I love New York. And that's the thing, like they oh like they have a lot of stuff that has like names of places on the clothing. So I really like that because I feel like if they still just had their Hollister emblem just like all over the outfits, like I feel like nobody will buy it. Like I know people will buy it, but I'm not buying that. I just I wanna get it from Hollister, but I don't want anybody to know that it's from Hollister type. Like I'll wear y'all stuff. Just don't tell nobody type of thing. So I'm only telling y'all because I feel like this is an interesting topic, like, and it's a little bit taboo, and I just love being taboo. That I love the fact that they play around with like the graphics and stuff like that on their pieces. Because if they didn't, like, nobody's going to wear it. I feel like, like, it kind of has, like, your house kind of has, like, a bad, bad stigma these days. So, for whatever reason, it's just out, like, what, what you, what you want us to do. But, yeah, they have a ton of cute sweats. I just love, like, that sporty look, like, that just laid back look. Like, I'm not even trying. Anyway, I'm not ashamed of you, Hollister. I'm proud of you. I just don't want anybody to see you. Feel me? So, you want to make sure you don't really have the Hollister emblem anywhere. You want to make sure you don't have the Hollister. You want to make sure that you don't have the Hollister logo anywhere, like this dove. You want to make sure that they left that part out in the design. <laughs> And you should be good, honestly, like, look, so cute, like, Hollister, like, I can't believe it, I, I can't believe it. I can believe it, it's just, like, I'm proud of them, I'm really proud of them for, like, being able to keep up with the times and keep up with the trends and being able to stay open for all this time because... Let's talk about it. When I was wearing Hollister the first time around, I was like 13, 14. That's like a good 10 years, 10, 11 years. And they was open way before that too. So I'm really proud of them. They've really been able to keep up and that's really a good thing. Like I love the ruching at the bottom right here. I love the um, the length and I love like the bagginess of it. Like they're baggy, but they're not too baggy. So they did a really good job with these and I'm proud of them. So now I'm gonna try on the third and final outfit. And this one is something that like I wouldn't necessarily wear. It's a bit of experimentation for me. So I'm excited to see how I feel. Okay, so let's go, we finna go, we finna go. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. So I forgot to mention that the last shirt that I had on was one in a medium, which I wish I would have gotten the large because it is kind of like tight, but it's whatever. And the sweats that I had on were also in a small, and that's pretty baggy for a small. Okay, so let's talk logistics. I can't really see. <laughs> so you may have may or may have not seen these pants kind of like trending i guess they're like these kind of like e-girl type of pants they kind of give me goth especially these ones because they're black and they're cargo they have pockets on them I've never in my life owned a pair of pants like these, but I've been looking 
at these like e-girl type of pants i've been wanting to get a pair for a very very long time so they had a ton of them they had a ton of these like baggy cropped pants i wanted them all like all of them and i because i've been seeing it it's not really my style but i've been really wanting to try some baggy cropped pants and this is something that's like really new for me I'm not sure how I feel about them now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I also picked up this red cardigan from them because I don't even wear the color red. Like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't, this, I, look, I'm not wearing this. I'm not wearing this. And it's not Hollister's fault. It's just of like what my style is. And you know, sometimes we try to experiment with different styles and it doesn't always work out. I can't do it. So you know what? I'm gonna switch out the top. The sweater really does look cute off, but it just don't look that cute on me. I switched out the cardigan for the t-shirt and it's just not giving. I want to like these pants so bad. I want to like these pants so bad. I'm going to try on another t-shirt. Just to really... Now put me on a white t-shirt. And... It's a little better. But... Honestly... I don't think these pants is for me, y'all. I really don't. Everybody knows I'm goth. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Wake up. Wake like, everybody knows that. Who love that for Hollister? The fact that they even have these jeans because these are so not even Hollister's like brand. Like Hollister is very much just like, you know, white people at the beach type of vibe. But I guess the white people at the beach have now adopted goth style and so did Hollister. So like I said, they have been keeping up with the trends. Like they got cute ass pieces in there. If you ask me, they remind me of like a mini pack sun. I love PacSun, okay? Especially when it comes to the graphic tees. Like, they, Hollister has mad graphic tees now. Okay, Hollister, okay! You know, these, like, aren't my favorite fitting pants. I do fucking love both pairs of sweats that I got and both t-shirts that I got. Like, I'm in love, so... Hollister has always been good for like sweatpants and stuff, but they might surprise you with the other things that they have to offer as well. So, in my regular clothes, and this just like kind of reminds me what my style is like. Um, and then we also picked up two little smell goods. This one right here. It's from the Hollister Juice House, which is their Eau de Parfum um, in Coconut Lime. So, I think this one is an actual perfume. Let's do a smell test. Wait. So, first thing I smelled is alcohol. <laughs> and then after that, you do get coats. You do get notes of the lime and it does have a little bit of like a sweet scent which i guess is the coconut and then i do smell a little bit of like um like sandalwood maybe like a little bit woody but it smells really nice and fresh and then we also picked up some of the hair and body mist this is um their coconut water and pineapple eau de noir de coco yeah so yeah so this is like a body spray more so than a perfume there is difference i guess and this one
Oh, yeah. This is the one that smells like really fresh and really juicy. So that just, this is the Hollister Glow Collection. Uh, this body spray is vegan, it's multi-purpose, um, and it is dermatologist tested. So that's really good. Okay, Hollister, y'all put in that work. The back trend lately has not really called for any perfume, but I guess that will be when something like this would come in handy because this one is so freaking tiny that it's not even worth the freaking $20 that we spent on it. Anyway, this one is also dermatologist tested. So yeah, my favorite one out of both of these, I think is this one. So I think I'm gonna be taking this one under my wing. Like this is me right here. It smells so good and you smell like the beach and you smell like coconuts and limes and coconut water. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching this channel. So much fun, I'm so glad that I was able to film this. So I do have another haul video from Fashion Nova from a couple of years ago, but I digress. Thought it'd be a while before I could push out another haul video, but I got one that's way sooner than later. So I'm so happy about that. Please let me know which outfit did you guys like the best? Did you like number one, number two, or number three? Let me know down in the comments. Which one would you wear? Would you start shopping at Hollister again? Like, do you think, do you guys think that it's worth it from what I showed you? Because I think that I kind of showed like the best of what they had to offer these days oh let me go get my mom's t-shirt that she got i just want to show so she was able to pick up this like super cute oversized t-shirt i was telling y'all they got the graphic tees and so she picked up this one i was so proud of her i'm like yes mom you are gonna look so bomb so she picked up this and she also got the same like the the second pair of sweatpants that i put on she also got herself a pair of those and she gonna wear that with this and this is an extra small y'all and it's super big and super comfortable. I just love stuff like this. And she paid $29.95 for it. This was 30 bucks. So that's a little bit pricey. That's a little bit more on the pricey, pricier side, especially because it's only one for 30. Like at Paxson, they be doing deals where you could get like two for 30 or something like that. So yeah, them prices ain't nothing to play with y'all. So yeah, I really wanna know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments and we can have a whole discussion about it because I love talking about stuff like this. <laughs> yes, I hope this video has served you well. I hope you were entertained. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl, The Glam Hippie. And I'll see y'all.